the Pope was at one of these appearances. You know, the Pope comes out and the town goes wild and they shut down a city in America, whatever. But people show up and they want to see the Pope and they want to touch him and they want to be blessed by him and they bring their their children who are ill and everything else. And, and a lot of people will line up for miles to get a chance, just a chance that they might be able to go kiss the ring. Uh, it does sound a bit like an Al Pacino movie, doesn't it? Uh, but, but the thing is they, they show up to kiss the ring and oddly enough in this recent clip from the Pope, he's pulling his hand away, uh, every time people are trying to kiss the ring. Now, the explanation from the Pope, you know, officially was something about, you know, he was worried about I don't know, diseases being spread around, which would be the first time I've ever heard of the Pope not letting somebody kiss a ring because he was worried about, you know, uh, some sort of flu virus i don't know uh i've never heard of this before i've never seen it before i found it funny and apparently three separate listeners <laughs> also wanted to know what you thought of it and if you had seen it um but uh but i'm curious to hear what what you have to say about it maybe you can help us to understand what's really going on jordan well i when i first saw that i immediately knew in my mind because of the symbolism of kissing the Pope's ring in the church and when he pulled his hands away, kept pulling his hand away from people, I know what that's all about. He knows that he is not in point of fact the the, the sitting Pope today. He knows he's not the Pope and therefore he has certain spiritual obligations that he must follow. Uh, impersonating a pope and and the one thing is you do not let people kiss your ring because kissing the ring is only for the godfather it's only because of the holy father who talks to god the godfather and that's why you kiss the ring of the godfather well he knows that he is not actually the pope he is merely filling in for the real pope and so, therefore, there must be some kind of a spiritual reason he's reacting the way he is. Not letting people kiss the ring is basically he's following some sort of a uh, of a protocol where you do not allow the people to kiss your ring as the Pope of Rome when you know you're not the Pope. You've been put in there you know, by, by, by other means, by secret societies. And the mere fact that he is a very high degree uh, Mason and also a Jesuit. And as a Jesuit, he knows he's not the Pope of Rome. Mm. He's been put in there by the Jesuit order that's taken over the Vatican and are now seizing control of the Vatican and putting him in to control the Vatican for the Jesuit order. But he is privy to know that he is not actually the Pope, that he's merely been put in there to control the Vatican okay. for the Jesuit order. And therefore, I suspect he, he, he feels that it is not right to let people kiss his ring representing the papacy and the Pope of Rome, when in point of fact, he is not the Pope of Rome. Well, Jordan, and barely, you know, and uh, so I think that's what's happening here. Well, a bit of confusion for me because I, I've seen Pope Francis before do do this, but not pull his hand away. And I'm pretty sure this is the guy that we call Pope Francis ostensibly uh, in, in the in the images, in the video. Uh, yeah. I mean, did, did somebody recently tell him, hey, hey, you're you're doing the wrong thing, you think? Or I mean, is this I mean, just. Maybe you don't know, but maybe you do, because uh, uh, I mean I'm I'm astounded by it that that, that, that this happened because it's just so strange. Um, but uh, uh, so so you're not saying at all that this like isn't Pope Francis, the guy that we've come to know as Pope Francis, but uh, but indeed that he's not the legitimate Pope is what you're That's saying. That's right. That's what I'm saying. He's not the legitimate Pope. He is a Jesuit what we would call a uh, uh, an agent of the Jesuit order. Mm -hmm. He has been put in there <clears throat> because of his position and because of his political connections and because of the secret societies behind the Jesuit order, 
want somebody who can run this operation for them and be and, and, and handle it like the Pope. But he knows he's been put there by the powers that be behind the throne. And he knows that he is not the papacy's head man. He's not the Pope. He has been put there by the powers behind the Mm. Jesuit order. And who they are, you have no idea in the world. I have pictures of Pope John, I think his name was Pope John the 23rd, the the fat little pope that's been around. He was here around, I don't know, 30 years ago or more. And I have a, a photograph of him on his knees, being knighted by the French Grand Orient Temple Masons in Paris. Mm -hmm. And it said that he could not be made Pope until he made peace with the powers that be behind the Vatican. And it was the French Grand Orient Temple Masons. I could send you that picture. I've saved it, and it's a very impressive picture showing the man who later became Pope he was a cardinal at that time, and he was on his knees with his hands in a praying position before a whole group of men, all of them very highly polished men. They were all members of a secret society called the French Grand Orient Temple Masons, and they were blessing him to allow him to become pope. Without their, without their sponsorship, he would never become pope. And the article even said it was interesting that, uh, that Pope John the Twenty Third was on his knees on a, on a pillow on his knees before the Grand Master of the Masonic Order of Knights Templars in Paris, but that the, all of those members that he was on his knees before in front of they were all actually atheists. They were totally atheists, but they had the power, political, monetary power, to decide who will be pope and who won't. And so he had to go before this French Grand Orient Temple Masons and bow down on on a pillow and accept them to bless him, to allow him to become pope. Then the next day he could be appointed as the pope because the French Grand Orient... Temple Masons, the powers behind the banking institutions of the world, the powers behind the Vatican, the secret societies that are financing that Roman organization, uh, have decided that he could be made Pope. And so he has to come in and bow down before them and receive their good blessings first. Right. So knowing that, I know that when when the Pope Francis removes his hand, when people want to kiss his ring, it's because it has something to do with some kind of a secret uh, a ritual that you cannot allow people to kiss your ring if you are not in that position. Right. It has something to do with spiritual powers behind the scenes. And that's why he keeps pulling his hand back when people want to kiss his ring because he knows he is not the Pope. He merely is there representing the secret societies behind the Jesuit order that's taken over the Vatican. Mm. But See, he's not the Pope, and he knows that. So uh, that's my guess. That right. would be my guess. That's my opinion. I understand. Based on some 60 years of looking at the Vatican. Well, I understand. Uh, li- listening now, Daniel comments that uh, he's actually a figurehead for the black Pope who is not in Rome. Yeah, uh, you know, and uh, I, I guess that 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 sounds kind of cryptic to some people, but uh, but you understand what that comment is, don't you? Of course I do. Yeah, I, I know exactly what's going on with the Black Pope. He's probably one of the most important people in the world because he is the Vicar General of the Jesuit Order. The Vicar General is a military title given to a military man that's in a military order. And that military order is called Jesuits. <clears throat> exactly. And that's what the Pope is, is a Jesuit. He represents a secret society of very powerful military industrial complex of Europe. And he is therefore not really a Pope at all, but he's merely there representing the Vatican 
and he's there representing the the Jesuits in the Vatican. 